Hi everyone, Rebecca here. I received a new planner cover that I thought would be interesting to do a comparison on, so let's get with it. This is the new Giglio Apunto Hobonichi cover. This one is in the A6 size. They also make it for the Hobonichi Cousin, which is an A5 size. Uh, however, the company, as of last checking, was out of stock on both sizes uh, across all color variations. Uh, they are very popular. So we are hopefully waiting for a restock. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll give you a quick review and comparison of the leather cover from Hobonichi and the leather cover from Giglio. First of all, the Hobonichi, this one is from their 2014 range. It is a vegetable, I believe it's a vegetable tanned leather. It is very smooth and it, when it arrived, it was more of a non-dyed or natural looking leather. It has patinaed over the years, making especially the spine quite a bit darker. There are a lot of pen marks. My daughter got a hold of it. Uh, and the ink was leaking. So I did cover it with what's called a cover on cover that protects the planner from use. Um, and you know, the, the, I really like the patina that has gathered on this. It is very smooth though. Um, whereas the Giglio Punto, you can definitely see that Apaca leather that it's made with the gray on stitching. It has a clasp rather than a, a double pen loop, which when the pen is inserted in this manner, uh, protects the contents from falling out or getting loose. Whereas the Giglio Punto has the clasp that does that. The Giglio Punto does not have two pen loops. It has one. Um, you'll notice that I have mine um, clasp to the side of the pen loop so that uh, my pen doesn't interfere with the paper and uh, but it keeps it secure so when the snap is in place it keeps the pen secure as well as the pen loop so uh, one thing that's different is that the Hobonichi cover has a side so this is the front, this is the back, and there is a vertical pocket along the back. The Giglio Apunto does not have that vertical pocket. However, they have a full length back pocket, which um, I think is more roomier. And I don't want to say roomier, it is roomier than uh, just using this pocket on the rear of the Obonichi. Now as far as the interior is compared, the left side of the Aponto is a similar layout as the left side of the Hobonichi. The pocket configuration looks very similar. However, as mentioned previously, the Aponto doesn't have the second pen loop over to the left and this side is sealed whereas this side is open allowing you to put um, cash receipts bits of paper etc but it is not sealed uh, meaning uh, that it isn't sewn shut like this is now on the right hand side there is a side pocket and a um, full length back pocket to slide the Hobonichi book into the back cover. This one only has one. It, it appears to be two, but it's this is actually sealed. And then it has only one opening for you to slip the Hobonichi book into. The page markers are a little bit different. And I don't know if the page markers um, off the top of my head are different for every model of Hobonichi. But in this particular model, 
they have a different one representing the month and another one representing the day to hold as page flags or page markers, I should say. Whereas Gilio's uh, Apunto has uh, two and they're identical uh, circles. To me, this doesn't bother me because although, uh, although some people uh, that probably would bother them, I know exactly which one is which because the month is at the beginning of the book and the day is in the middle. So I know which one is which. And a lot of people tend to not use these to begin with, so they end up tucking them behind the book itself. So it's not a deal breaker. Now over on the right hand side of the planner, it has a secretarial flap here and a secretary. Well, it's not quite a secretarial flap, but an in, you know, an inside slip pocket along with the back slip area where you put the um, back uh, cardboard cover of the Hobonichi book right in here. Uh, on the Apunto, we have a secretarial pocket similar to the one above, but this time we have a zippered compartment rather than a slip pocket here, and then you can put the book behind this slip pocket. The zip pocket is not gusseted, but it is roomy enough to slip things inside, such as coins or whatever. The pen loops are made of leather. Uh, this too uh, is made of a leather uh, cover, but it is partially uh, elasticated, allowing you to put in larger pen if need be. Okay, so that is the comparison. Which one do I prefer? Uh, I, I prefer the Gilio because of the clasp and because of the wonderful Apaca leather that it's made of. However, I would prefer to have this in the Gilio gold color so that I can watch it patina like my Gilio gold pen case has where it has uh, through usage uh, and it, it has aged and, and gotten its battle scars and has really developed a wonderful glow to it and then um, similar to where this one is heading to I, I think that I would prefer the Gilio in a gold color so hopefully when they come back in stock I'll probably order the gold one so let me go ahead and uh, pack everything into the planner so you can see what it looks like when it's completely full and I'll show you what I do with it Okay, so now we're back with it completely full. I have everything that I use in it. And we'll go ahead and get started with how I'm using it currently. So this has the uh, Hobonichi Techo. This is the Avec version, meaning that it goes from January 2016 to June 30th. And then there is a separate book for uh, July 1st through December. And I'm trying to remember if it goes, it might even go all the way to January, but I don't have the, um, the, the second half in front of me to look, uh, to confirm that at the moment. So, um, so we'll take a closer look at the book in just a minute, but over on the left-hand side, I don't keep anything in the side pocket. I did have a uh, metal stencil here, but I gave my Apunto its first scar by accidentally scraping it, so I moved this to another area to prevent that from happening. Um, I just have a Kate Spade paper clip here, and then some translucent uh, post-it notes that have the uh, graph paper already um, imprinted on it. Some a variety of cards that have some sort of memo in them. Uh, this is a credit card size memo book that I bought from Jet Pens that I am going to use to keep notes in uh, when they don't necessarily, like when I don't want to lose track of them on a specific day. So I am going to use that credit, sorry, credit card size notepad for that. And then my most used Hobonichi stencil is in the top pocket. On the 
book itself, I have one of these sticker saver sheets attached to the front cover. And then attached to that are these day runner or they, they're day timer, um, like post-it lists. I got them at Staples. I use them for shopping lists and there are several of them. I don't throw them away when I've crossed out like this, just these three things. I would continue the list until I can't use this piece of paper anymore and then I would take it off. Um, I'm gonna try to improve this lighting a little bit. Okay, and then on the back side of this page is a sticker pocket that I stuck to the, it's removable, it's from Heidi Swap, that is a pocket that you can stick to the inside of books, and I just have a couple, a variety of stickers uh, that I use uh, occasionally. Then, you'll see this is the Hobonichi Techo 2016 Avic version. In the beginning of it is the 2016 and 2017 year at a glance, but I want to go straight over to when I first started using it. So. Uh, when I first got it, I started using it in January. I uh, first had intended to use it as a planner, like I am now. Um, I decorated it a little bit, but not too much, because I'm I'm really get overwhelmed with too much decoration on a page. I strictly try to use it for function, but then I quickly uh, decided that I, it wasn't going to work for me as a planner, so I started using the planner as a more of a journal than a working planner. So I'm going to flip over to the current month that we're on and now I'm back to using it as a planner again. Uh, this is just basics. It's, it's in pencil. Um, I'll explain why in just a few minutes and then going forward uh, they're filled some of the pages or some of the dates are filled out in pencil uh, that I'm aware of but for the most part, nothing really for the future has been placed in here, but I'll add to it. Now, in the beginning, like I said, I started using this kind of like as a journal and was either uh, drawing or documenting things that happened throughout my day. Uh, there are some notes for work, etc. My daughter, granddaughter was born, you know, just mementos of variety of days, but then I quit keeping up with it. So I went to a uh, meetup with some friends from Gilio at the Kazan outlet recently, and I uh, saw both of them had a red apunto, and I love anything red from Gilio, but uh, theirs was beautiful and, and they had very different planning styles between the two of them and uh, I decided to give the Hobonichi another shot. Uh, I started using the planner before I had placed an in search of ad looking for a, a Punto cover because at the time these were sold out on the Gilio website. So I put in an in search of and Fortunately, someone saw it and reached out to me and uh, they uh, mailed it out right away. So I didn't have to wait long uh, for an Apunto to come to me. Uh, so on the month, beginning of each month, they give you this blank page. So I'm going to use it as a master task list. And um, on the back side, I have a tab from the Martha Stewart line that just lets me flip straight to this page so I can see where I am with my uh, processing of my master tasks. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, I didn't start using this until May 8th and, uh, or May, May 9th. So I went back a day and I, I put a few things, but this is when I started really using it. Um, again, the friend that showed me hers was using hers with pencil. So initially I wrote these um, work items and personal items that were happening throughout the day in pencil. And I was really trying to get my groove of like, how am I going to work this out? How am I going to, you know, how am I going to use the top? How am I going to use these, these little time increments over on the left hand side? And what will I use for this middle section? So I continued to evolve. Um, 
and and as you can see as the days progress it starts getting a little bit more colorful because pencil to me was a little bit too drab for my eye and I needed some fun I needed some pop-up color so I, I tried to put in a couple of stickers at first but um, I really don't like to use stickers too often so um, again some more stickers uh, then I started switching over to more uh, stencil use so as the pages progress this is where more stencil use came in and more colors so I switched to ink rather than pencil which I think I was still using pencil on this day and then I decided you know what I need to use some color to to get things to stand out for me so uh, I started liking that and then on the night of the 13th or the 18th I was watching a YouTube video and I saw a layout somewhere either YouTube or Pinterest where I saw a layout it wasn't the same as this but um, it really helped me to find the areas that I were that I was going to use for what so I decided to not worry about the top at the moment uh, these were in Japanese so I decided let's put the day of the week there along with how my weather is doing and then my to-do list on the right with the schedule on the left and that started working out wonderfully and I only needed a, a sticker here and there um, I used a brush pen to highlight things that didn't get done that day so I would remember to carry them forward and um, notes were in green at the time I used these little page flag stickers from Planner Chick Designs to kind of highlight the time of appointments on all of these uh, that's when I also started using the black, uh, what is this, Faber, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. This is in the point three. It has an S on the end. So if you try to find it, I found mine at Hobby Lobby. So I started using this. And then the brush pens, the highlighters, uh, just um, some stencils to carve out um, different areas, lines that I was drawing. Uh, again a brush pen to highlight but it really started taking shape I would throw in a picture here and there uh, to to really make the page pop this was the last two days and um, most of these stickers are from planner chick design happy scrappy and um, oh there's one other company and I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Anyway, it, oh, and recollection sticker. So those were the three that I've used the most this week. So this is today and I'm getting ready for company to arrive. So I'm sure I'll be busy because my one of my daughters graduates tomorrow from college. So we've got big plans on Friday. Anyway, so I do have the Ollie clip that usually holds my page to the master task list so I can quickly flip back and forth from whatever current page I'm on. This is a pencil board uh, that you can get from the Hobonichi site. This prevents uh, pressure points when you're drawing or writing with pencil. I don't really need to use this now that I'm in the, in the, um, in the black pen because it doesn't uh, leave those kind of pressure points on the paper. This planner lasts until the end of June and then I'll switch the book over to a uh, the second half which is July through December then in the back I have a plastic folder that is hard on both sides so you can slip it uh, into the front or into the back of the planner I have in the back I, I put my daily to do's back here on a sticky note these I don't check them off but it reminds me to take care of these things every day and then this uh, I use for drawing straight lines on the paper and then I have some pockets with some a variety of stencils these I purchased from Etsy and then here's a second one these came together then I have the other two Hobonichi stencils that are available on the Hobonichi site. This is another stencil that I got from Amazon. 
and then these are planner chick design page flags in their uh, bullet journal style which I keep in here to indicate my time of appointments for meetings etc and then further back is that stencil that I mentioned that was metal that had scratched up my my planner at the beginning and then I have another one of those sticker saver sheets uh, attached to the back and in the full length back pocket I have another stencil uh, which this can fit in the pocket I just uh, forgot to put it away and I got this from Etsy as well it's steel uh, it's very heavy duty so I really like that as, as opposed to these you really have to hold it down to make sure your pen doesn't slip and then you don't have a straight line anymore. And then over to the left hand side, I have a variety of coupons, uh, paint colors for my house, um, you know, a variety of things that you just want to hold on to and that you might need to access later on. So that is the interior. I don't, oh, I forgot this one pocket. In the zipper pocket, I keep page flags from Post it. There are some Martha Stewart uh, flags attached to the back of this as well. And then these are Hobonichi uh, photo stickers where you can apply uh, the sticker tape to the back of the photo to adhere it to the paper. I, I really don't need it very often because I usually have access to a tape runner that I prefer, uh, I find quite, I find it easier to use this than these. Uh, but when I'm on the go and I don't take the pen style tape glue, then I can use those um, little stickers instead to do the same thing that this would do for me. So, so this is the Apunto in A6. This is the dark brown color. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, like I said, I probably will look out for the gold version of this when the uh, Gilio uh, makers come out with a new um, oh what's it called uh, new stock so that's probably what I'm going to be looking for is the gold Apunto anyway absolutely love it I hope you guys will um, love it too if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below talk to you later bye